And we're cutting across to Moscow now where uh, visuals are coming in of that uh, inauguration ceremony. These are, of course, uh, it is expected to take place shortly. Now, uh, visuals on your screen of the Kremlin Palace in uh, Moscow. Some uh, beautiful pictures there. And, of course, all the delegates and uh, dignitaries have arrived there for the inauguration of President Vladimir Putin. Remember, he's being sworn in for his fourth term as president in Russia. The presidential term lasts for six years. So uh, quick math tells you that he's been the man in power for close to 18 years now. That's uh, pretty much all of the last two decades, barring a small stint in the middle as the prime minister. Now, a speculation at that time was that Dmitry Medvedev, who was the president while Prime Minister uh, Putin uh, was uh, in charge as a PM, uh, people called Medvedev a simple puppet president because the man in charge for the last two decades has pretty much been Vladimir Putin. So images of both inside and outside the Kremlin Palace. Uh, these, of course, uh, visuals from inside of everyone who's gathered. Uh, again, pictures from right outside the Kremlin as Russia gets ready to swear in President Vladimir Putin for a fourth time. Дамы и господа, начинается торжественная церемония вступления Владимира Владимировича Путина в должность президента Российской Федерации. Вносится государственный флаг Российской Федерации и штандарт президента Российской Федерации. Носится Конституция Российской Федерации и знак президента Российской Федерации.
Председатель Совета Федерации, Федерального Собрания Российской Федерации Валентина Ивановна Матвиенко. Председатель Государственной Думы Федерального Собрания Российской Федерации Вячеслав Викторович Володин. Председатель Конституционного Суда Российской Федерации Валерий Дмитриевич Зорькин. Right, visuals from inside uh, the Kremlin Palace right now. We're waiting to see uh, President Vladimir Putin take his oath as Russia's new president. Remember, he won the election by a landslide victory, decimating the opposition in March. This will be Mr. Putin's fourth term as uh, the Russian president. Uh, in Russia, the term lasts for six years. So uh, once he wraps up, he's going to have uh, been in power for at least 24 years as the president of the Russia, uh, Russian Federation. A number of dignitaries have gathered in uh, the Kremlin Palace to witness this uh, ceremony full of pomp and, of course, uh, a lot of optics. We're waiting to see the Russian president himself as he takes oath as the new president of Russia. Looks like the president has been informed that things are ready and uh, everyone's waiting for him now to arrive to take oath. Former KGB agent, fluent in many languages including French, Russian and German is uh, all set to take oath as uh, president for the fourth time. He's pretty used to this uh, procedure I suppose. Looks pretty nonchalant as well as he's making his way down those uh, corridors of the Kremlin Palace as he makes his way across to the gilded ceremony awaiting him where he will take oath. Now remember there were a lot of protests in Moscow as well ahead of this ceremony. A number of uh, protesters have been picked up. Among them one of his biggest detractors, one of uh, his biggest op opponents, Alexei Navalny, was also uh, picked up by authorities for uh, protesting at uh, Russia's, uh, or rather I should say Moscow's central square. But uh, nary a dent in uh, the walk of uh, this individual, a powerful man, a man who's brought Russia back to uh, the center stage. He has many enemies at home, many more still abroad, but uh, that's done little to change the fact that he will take oath as the president for the fourth time. It's another six years in power for uh, the Russian president who is, uh, among other things, a polyglot. He's uh, well-spoken and, and fluent uh, actually in a number of languages. He's also uh, extremely fond of animals, dogs in particular. Uh, it's quite common to see uh, visiting dignitaries presenting puppies to uh, President Putin who has uh, more than a soft spot for uh, canines. quite a long walk and now of course down uh, that extremely ornate staircase as well as he makes his way across to the grand hall of uh, the Kremlin palace where uh, hundreds have gathered to watch him take oath.
with all visuals of course uh, on point it's walking down uh, the red carpet right and uh, it seems he's going to be getting into a car to make his way across uh, quite a car at that he's going to be uh, making his way across to that grand hall where uh, the ceremony is going to take place A motor cavalcade there escorting uh, Mr. Putin as he makes his way across to take oath as Russia's uh, new but uh, old at the same time president. Uh, he's not new to the job most certainly. He's been around uh, for 18 years already in power. Six of those years was spent as uh, the Prime Minister of Russia when Dmitry Medvedev was uh, president. That was just a small gap in the middle of uh, President Putin's term as president. It's going to uh, begin. That is uh, the Liberty Bell there at the back that you just saw. Uh, also part of uh, this beautiful complex in Moscow. of his undisputed hold on power, the 65-year-old is being seen as the new Russian Tsar.
соответствии с частью первой статьи 82 Конституции Российской Федерации при вступлении в должность президент Российской Федерации приносит присягу, утвержденную Конституцией Российской Федерации. Уважаемый Владимир Владимирович, прошу вас принести присягу. Клянусь при осуществлении полномочий президента Российской Федерации уважать и охранять права и свободы человека и гражданина, соблюдать и защищать Конституцию Российской Федерации, защищать суверенитет и независимость, безопасность и целостность государства, верно служить народу. Путин вступил в должность президента России. On the phone line with me is a senior fellow with the Observer Research Foundation, Nandan Uni Krishnan. Uh, Nandan, good afternoon. Thank you for speaking with us here at Beyond. Uh, he's been sworn in for a fourth term, uh, and it looks like Russia is uh, back on track in many ways under President Putin. Do you think uh, anything much is going to change? He's been in the position before, and he's uh, back once more. I apologize, we seem to have lost our connection with Nandan. We'll get back to him in a second, but uh, it's back to President Putin for now. Приветствую всех граждан нашей великой родины и соотечественников за рубежом. Всех, кто смотрит или слушает трансляцию этой торжественной церемонии. Всех, кто присутствует здесь, в исторических залах Кремля и на древней соборной площади. В эти минуты Вступая в должность президента России, особенно остро осознаю свою колоссальную ответственность перед каждым из вас. 
перед всем нашим многонациональным народом. Ответственность перед Россией, страной грандиозных побед и свершений, перед тысячелетней историей российской государственности и нашими предками. Их мужество, неустанный труд, непобедимое единство, священное отношение к родной земле – вечный пример преданности отчизне. Считаю своим долгом и смыслом всей своей жизни сделать все для России, для ее настоящего и будущего, мирного и процветающего, для сбережения и продолжения нашего великого народа, для благополучия в каждой российской семье. Заверяю вас, целью моей жизни, работы будет, как и прежде, служение людям нашему Отечеству. Для меня это превыше всего. От всего сердца благодарю граждан России за вашу сплоченность, за веру в то, что мы можем многое изменить к лучшему. Еще раз хочу сказать Спасибо за And developing, and people of Russia will be living better and better. This is also important for us to uh, secure our position in the international arena and domestic one. Russia should be modern and dynamic. Russia should be ready to rise up to the challenges of time and uh, respond to them energetically. We should develop our leadership in the areas where we have always been strong. And we should focus and uh, work hard in the areas where we are yet to achieve desirable results the areas where we have not yet done enough. Our path forward is always difficult, it's not easy, but there is only one mistake that history will never forgive us if we are self, uh, if we are relaxed and lackadaisical, especially today at this turning point when The whole world is going through a lot of changes. We have many decisions we need to take. These are historical decisions which will determine the future of our country for decades to come. We have a lot of hard work to do, and our entire society, each one of us, will have to pull this way together. All All the people who care about Russia should come together. We need to achieve a breakthrough in all the different areas of life. And I strongly believe that only a free society that is open to new things can do that. We should reject injustice, uh, bureaucracy, all those things which stop people from fulfilling their potential and limits their aspirations for the future. Dear friends, this year will mark 25 years of the Russian Constitution. The Constitution emphasizes the priority of people's rights and liberties, uh, this harmony of free citizens and uh, responsible uh, society is a strong foundation for Russia's future development. We coped with the difficult economic problems. We realized that we should change as the world changes, and at the same time, we should stick to our roots, to our history, our multi-ethnic culture. We realize that the beauty and strength of Russia is in our national identity and unity. We learn to protect our interests. We are once again proud of our country and of our values. Today, we need to preserve our achievements and, of course, This is foundation for us to move onward. Of course, 
we should go along with the global changes. No obstacles should stand in our way, preventing us from determining our future ourselves. We should make all our bold plans and aspirations come true. We are open for dialogue. Together with our partners, we will promote our integration processes. We will develop our scientific and cultural and other ties. We want equal and fair cooperation with all the different and stability on our planet. Russia is a strong player in the international arena. Security of our country is safeguarded uh, and we will continue devoting sufficient attention to these issues, but currently we need to focus first and foremost on our domestic developmental issues to achieve scientific and technological breakthrough. We need to become competitive in the areas that will determine the future, new quality of life, prosperity, security, health. This these are the things we need to focus on today. These are the central values of our policies. We want Russia to be a country for our people. I strongly believe that such global goals and daily uh, things that we face in our everyday life are very closely related. This is how we need to develop uh, benchmarks for our future development. We need trust in our society. Each person should realize Чем больше людей, представителей любой профессии, любого социального статуса и уровня полномочий осознает значимость своей роли в улучшении жизни, in these transformations, the more successful will be moving forward. Of course, the federal and local government bodies will play a particularly important role here. They should treat uh, people's complaints uh, with care. They need to respond and react immediately. We need to expand freedoms for our businessmen, entrepreneurs, uh, artists, all people who seek novelty in development. This is the foundation for Russia's development. So I expect our young people to come up with new ideas, new approaches. They should be the pioneers of change. I hope our young people will be committed to the values of uh, justice and fairness. Their skills, the experience of older generations of course, will also be very useful to our young people. All those who care about our country should come together to achieve our goals, to achieve breakthrough in science and technology, to implement large-scale plans to renovate our cities, our regions. Our social policies will be focused on the needs of every person, every Russian family. We will improve the quality of education and health care. We will pay special attention to supporting traditional family values, maternity, supporting children. We want Russia to have as many talented and healthy children as possible. Our children will build our country in the years to come. They will achieve even greater success than their parents. They will respect and continue the history of our motherland. Dear friends, as the head of state, I will do my best to make Russia a prosperous and glorious country. 
to justify the expectations of our people. We remember how in the 1990s, uh, as necessary transformations were taking place, our people had to go through very difficult times, and we have not fully recovered from that period yet. Not all the wounds have healed, and life comes up with new challenges, new difficulties, and we will have to work hard to respond to those. We have no time to waste, but we all remember that in over a thousand years of our history, Russia faced difficulties a lot of times, and every time, every time, Russia, like Phoenix, would resurrect and reach new heights above all others heights that were considered unachievable, yet they would become a new stepping stone for our country to continue on its path forward. And today, once again, I strongly believe we will achieve such a breakthrough. Our whole country is one big team that can cope with any difficulty. So all these things should inspire all of us to seek self-fulfillment, to work for our families, to work together, work hard for the prosperity of our country. And we will definitely be successful. I strongly believe this is what is going to happen, and I will do my best for this to happen. Thank you. Right, he's been sworn in. He is the new uh, president once again of Russia. This is uh, the start of Vladimir Putin's fourth term as uh, the man in charge in Russia. Just heard him. Uh, take oath and of course make a speech reiterating his commitment to the Russian Federation, uh, to the people of Russia and more specifically the, the children of Russia.